The RAF is to create a new generation of specialists to fly unmanned aircraft. The Chief of the Air Staff announced the creation of the specialisation in the annual Trenchard Lecture at the Royal United Services Institute. He also warned that at a time of spending cuts, failure to innovate and invest in new technology would itself be extremely costly. James Hurst was listening to the speech. When Britain's operations began in Afghanistan just over a decade ago, aircraft with no pilots on board seemed like something that had only just arrived from science fiction. Now they are a key part of day-to-day -day operations, providing a vital eye that can stay in the sky for much longer than conventional planes, in some cases carrying weapons. Armed drones have become America's weapon of choice in the modern-day fight against its enemies accused of planning terror attacks in Pakistan, Yemen and Somalia. Their use is not without controversy. The chief of the air staff told his audience as the technology develops, the potential capabilities and potential pitfalls must be fully addressed by the RAF. I am pleased to announce that the Royal Air Force is introducing a new remotely piloted air systems operator specialisation within our flying branch. Recognising these pilots' unique skills with their own flying badge, underscoring their war fighting responsibilities and qualifications. These officers will have an innate understanding for the rules of engagement complexity, which my pilots and captains of aircraft uh, of today have of course shown many times in the, in the past. This new technology and building the skills to use it costs at a time when spending is being cut. But the Air Chief Marshal warned the cost of not investing could be greater. Air power is not an expensive luxury which can be bought off the shelf when the situation demands. It is a cost effective and adaptable means of providing the options which politicians and military commanders need to meet current and future security challenges, ideally before events become life-threateningly kinetic. Aircraft which don't carry their pilots are so in their infancy, people are still discussing what the right thing to call them is. Drones, UAVs, now remotely piloted air systems. But while the technology and its uses still have a long way to develop, the creation of this specialisation within the Royal Air Force clearly shows how they have made their mark and state their place in the future of Britain's air power. James Hurst, Forces News at the Royal United Services Institute.